good morning everyone Jacques the inspired piper here it's a beautiful Saturday morning here in southeastern Quebec sky's blue it's beautiful when you look outside but we're still under extreme cold warning it's uh, actually right now with the wind chill they're saying it's minus 38 to minus 40 degrees Celsius for my American friends again that's about minus 34 minus 35 Fahrenheit so yeah it's cold it's not a great day to be outside so I'm inside and I was thinking of, you know, what's a, when it's this cold outside, a nice hot cup of coffee. And one of the things I noticed fairly early on in my pipe smoking journey is that there are some drinks that go really well with certain blends of tobaccos. And one of the first things I noticed was that when you're smoking a nice Virginia, coffee seems to go really well with it. Hence, coffee with Virginia. Now, what? Oh, you thought Virginia was the cute girl on the thumbnail title? No, that's my lovely wife, Claire. But no, Virginia, I'm talking about the leaf here. So, um, I discovered this sort of pairing uh, a while ago with Orlick Golden Sliced. And I realized as I was having a cup of coffee in the late morning, you know, taking a break from work and having a pipe and or this, this blend here, it really seemed to pair nicely. And I got to really enjoying um, Virginia's with coffee. Um, another one that I enjoy, and I think a lot of people on the forums enjoy, is Escudo. Uh, a little more Perique in this one, of course, than the Orlick, but uh, that's a nice Virginia or vapor that I also enjoy with a cup, good cup of coffee. This morning, however, the one that tempts me the most to go with the cup of coffee is GLP's Sixpence. Uh, some of you may be been following me since for a while know that I think last summer about I started experimenting and ordering a bunch of the GLP's tobaccos just to see what they were all about and I've grown to um, love a lot of them this sixpence definitely has grown on me and I will try to keep some stock this is got about a quarter of the tin left mmm it's got a such a nice deep smell it's red Virginia's and Kentucky dark fired Kentucky and some Perique um, but it's and, and apparently topped or cased with some kind of liquor I guess I'm getting like dark fruits and figs almost out of this but I'm enjoying this one a lot especially on a cold day like today um, six pence not six pence this is six pence but um, what's the other one I like sextant I just ordered two uh, tins of sextant that I really enjoyed as well but this morning we're I'm gonna pack some six pence um, but of course first we need to make coffee so that's a very important part of life, coffee. It's what brings me back to life every morning and makes me not want to kill people during the day. So how are we going to make a good cup of coffee to go with this sixpence? Let's take a look. So my wife and I have a lot of different ways to make coffee. One of the most basic is this um, just regular camping coffee maker that uh, I use to make what I call cowboy coffee. Well, not what I call. Um, I will put the link in the video below to this um, guy who cooks for cowboys in the South uh, US and he explains how to make cowboy coffee and it's actually really really good. So we'll sometimes make that on the weekend especially outside. It's kind of cool if you have a little single burner propane thing that you can bring to the park or hiking and you can make coffee while you're out in, uh, out in the woods. It's really really nice or picnicking. It's a great way to make it. Very inexpensive and it makes a delicious cup of coffee. Next, of course, we have the good old French press. So that also makes a great cup of coffee. You also have to do it really well. There's a certain technique to do in this. Don't grind the beans too fine. But uh, this also makes a great cup of coffee, I find. I'll make that when I want something that's not as strong, but still very flavorful. But by far, our favorite way of making coffee is using a stovetop espresso. I've been drinking stovetop espresso coffee for at least 30-35 years and it's hard to beat when it comes to really extracting the full flavor of coffee. And as you can see we're well equipped in that department. We have this big nine cup um, <laughs> coffee maker that we use every morning for our morning coffee. I prepare it the night before, leave it on the stove so that all I got to do in the morning is turn it on. Now, this is quote unquote Italian nine cups. Of course, the little, you know, espresso cups, but it's actually for us two mugs in the morning. 
Then we've got this little one here that, I don't know, maybe it's considered a four or six cup um, coffee maker, but again, I'll make that in the morning when my wife goes off to work and put it in one of her thermoses so she can take with her. It's good for one big mug, I guess, or two small cups. That's when we'll make that one. Uh, but the one I'm going to make now this morning is this little single one here. Um, and that's great for a nice little espresso to go with this Virginia that we're going to smoke. Now, what about the coffee? Well, that's important too, right? You want a good coffee, the method of making it, of brewing it is important. But of course, the coffee makes a huge difference. So for years, my favorite coffee has been Kicking Horse Kick-Ass Dark Coffee. It's a bean or it's a, a coffee that is roasted in British Columbia in the Canadian Rockies in, um, in Vermeer, right in the Rockies. And it's a beautiful, uh, strong coffee. It's great for making the stove top espresso. Um, they have a whole other bunch of, you know, brands. They have Half-Ass, they have what Grizzly Claw, uh, Horsepower 454, something like that. Um, they're all good, uh, depends what you like. I keep coming back to the KCAS. However, when it comes to making coffee in my little single espresso, I've grown um, quite fond of just using the Lavazza coffee. Really, really fine grind. In this case, I've got the Rasa, but sometimes I got the Crema Gusto. It doesn't really matter, they're all really good. Now, oddly enough, two very different things, right? Italian coffee, Canadian Rockies, but actually back in 2017, Lavazza purchased Kicking Horse Coffee. So this is what I'm making this morning. Um, it's a beautiful little coffee and uh, we're gonna go light up after. Not at least perfect for me. Oh, yeah. Pipe is packed. This morning I'm smoking in uh, a Sassiani 4 dot that I purchased from Mr. Michael Curcio at Bishop's Pipes. Thank you, Michael. Love this pipe. So, yes, here we go. Coffee with Virginia. And so it begins. Hmm. So while it's minus stupid degrees Celsius outside, this is nice. Have a great weekend, everyone.